Well, this trailer, um, I had a, previous to this, I had a uh, small U-Haul 3x5 uh, box trailer. And I was going to outfit it uh, with doors coming off the side for easy access. It had one door that opens up towards the back. But it had 12-inch tires on it. And the 12-inch tires turn at a faster rate of speed than a regular tire. And then with all the ranches that you go on, a lot of gravel, it was wearing out those tires pretty fast, wearing out the rubber pretty fast. Even though I bulk, bulked up the rim, it still had the, the rubber that was being worn off. So a friend of mine um, suggested I put a new axle on to the box trailer. It would lift it up a little bit and be a little bit more beefy. So I went to look at uh, the axle that he had, and he actually had this Ingersoll Rand air compressor trailer still intact had the air compressor inside of it uh, and everything sticking out the exhaust and and uh, it was yellow in color and uh, still had the pendle hitch in the front and he was going to take the axle off of that and put it onto my box trailer but when i saw that the doors open up on the side already and how compact it was i asked him how much for just the trailer itself so i picked that up and um, I just saw that it was going to be functional. Picked up the trailer just as it was and gutted it out myself and then refabricated it into a shoeing trailer. It didn't take very long at all. I'd say uh, from start to finish just a couple of months um, with the exception of a few, a few items to tweak where you're going to put your shoe rack where your tools are going to go because as you know the closer to the front of a trailer is better than anything in the back so you have to kind of negotiate where you're going to put your your items that uh that won't bounce around on you as much um so i mean it it probably having the vision that i wanted only took like two or three months with the diamond plate um, took off the fenders put diamond plate fenders on uh, i put a diamond plate toolbox from tractor supply that you can get real cheap um, that's where I keep my propane tank inside and ran a line to the back put a swing out forge and then the the biggest issue was how am I going to get my anvil and my stand easily accessible uh, bringing it out to work what worked out really good is I made a receiver hitch and being that the trailer is hollow on the inside the receiver hitch follows the whole body of the trailer so I can take this anvil slide out and slide it out to here depending on where I'm at in a barn or in a in a shoeing area and either bring it forward or bring it in the best part is at the end of the day I don't have to pick up nothing I just undo a bolt and slide it back in one of the things I wanted to do was keep it keep it so simple because we got a limited space to work with it had to be just simple and and completely functional um, so the obvious um, area for a forge to be in is closest to the anvil as you possibly can so I used a, a swing out arm for the forge placing it at the at the back of the trailer and then that way when it swings out it's close to the anvil and I can just bring out the shoes right to the anvil so that makes it handy the other thing I wanted to do was a grinder um, so it, it took up less space taking it to the back and then I got the uh, expander wheel on it. I don't have the multi arm because I didn't have the room. So I just put an expander wheel on it and the heel check wheel on it. And then I got a grinder that was able to, to uh, do the job. What I did was I looked on the, uh, the popular sites like Georgia Ferry Supply, Pretty Built, Stonewell Bodies, and they come with aluminum uh, shoe pegs already so I didn't want the the slanted version that would go in a normal trailer I wanted it more upright um, but having the limited space this way I just built mine out of redwood and I built the two by sixes uh, to hold the shoes I put some fire hose material on the top so that it wouldn't rub away the wood and then I'm able to hold anywhere from oh I don't know maybe 50 to 100 shoes um, you don't really need that many, but I got, I wanted the capability to hold all the different sizes, make it real similar to what was out there, but just using wood and reinforcing it 
and then you just have your, your shoe rack and it's real easy. One of the main advantages of, is, is I have a shell that you can modify however you want to and then you have an axle that is used to carrying a 2,000 pound air compressor from job site to job site. So it's a beefed up axle. There is nothing that I can put in shoeing wise that's going to come close to that. So I don't have to worry about axle braking, tires, going through tires a lot, um, the rims, the overload capacity is, is nowhere near what it's used to carrying. So being that you got the axle that with a lot of reinforced leaf springs and then a shell and then you add the weight, you're not going to come close to what it's, what it's made for. So that, that's a huge advantage. The other thing that's great is it's so low in terms of your truck that you can see right over it. I can look out my rear view mirror, I can see right where I'm at, I can see the trailer and it's on a single bumper pull hitch so maneuvering it back and forth is really easy. I don't have the length um, sticking out uh, as some, some of the trailers do. I don't need a double axle because of the axle that it's got on. So it's, it's just so easy. It's maneuverable. It's getting in and out is not a problem. Tight corners, tight turns, swinging it right into a barn alleyway, very easy. Well, cost saving wise, I'm right under the tailgate. So it's easy to pull. Gas is really efficient on this. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it's not having that, that wind blockage as you would as a trailer or a, 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 a big trailer that you're hauling around. And I guess the, the one main advantage to uh, having a trailer like this is that I can drop it and then use my truck for a truck. Um, or if my truck goes down, I just hook it up to my other truck and I'm still rocking and rolling and making money. Um, so those things you just, that's why I went with this, this setup. When everything is said and done, probably less than a thousand or right at a thousand. Um, a couple of things I did was a friend of mine that I shoe for, he's a welder. So I traded some shoeing for him fixing up this, uh, this setup here to the specifications of my anvil. He took the measurements and he did all the, the uh, metal work for me and I shot a couple of his horses. So that to me was a, a really good trade. Um, I got another toolbox on the inside that holds my pads, my, my tips, um, anything for, for vet tech products. It's a cheap toolbox from Tractor Supply. That wasn't much. And then just the diamond plate making it pretty. So it wasn't much. <laughs>